So in addition to, um, and then it's wonderful that David is sharing that information because we've been hearing it uh, quite a bit in HR, but I know that getting that message out to everyone is, is, is a challenge, of course, with 8,000 individuals and 1,200 supervisors. So um, in addition to those programs, the creation of educational programs and pathways for individuals who are not yet in school, uh, in HR, we've long discussed the need for us to create entry points for those who are already in school. And in the past, as part of their education or as part of building their experience in the resume, they wanted to do an internship. And Hennepin County has lots of opportunities, you know, and 500 and some job classifications. And we've had we have long-standing relationships, and you'll hear about some of them in some areas like social work and the library. I know has a robust um, internship program, but we have a lot of areas that. Um, have not had internship opportunities or haven't had steady internship opportunities. So for a long time, we've said we need to, we need to build these and we need to um, increase the number and the variety of internships that we have across the county. And what's exciting, is, well lots of things are exciting, but one of the things that David has done then in addition to the workforce development effort is we established a countywide committee that's looking at the expansion of opportunities for students. And so what went from a human resources committee is now uh, representing countywide interests, and we have a representative from each line of business. So it's a parallel effort with the workforce development where we're looking to, um, as I mentioned, uh, how do we increase the number and diversity of, of internships available? That's some of what we're just going to be discussing today. How do we create better processes for supervisors? Communication, how do we make it, how do we demystify this process? Laura, I put the word in, demystify. <laughs> she challenged me to get into the presentation. But. Um, but it, it's, it's complicated, right? Like, hiring is complicated. And then, then trying to figure out, well, wait, I haven't done this before. How do I set up an internship? And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, so how do we learn from other people who have established internship programs? And how do we create processes that aren't strict, that allow for flexibility, and, um, and that they're more clear to supervisors for what to do and how to do it? Uh, we're also looking at onboarding techniques. We have more of a focus on that in human resources as well. Uh, thus far, New employer orientation is just for benefiting full-time employees. There are a lot of people that we're losing that don't get that consistent message <coughs> through new employer orientation. They don't get policies. So how do we create something for um, employees and then also um, potentially interns and volunteers? And how do we retain them? How do we take it from, they've done an internship here at some point in their, their whatever their, the duration of their school program, and then how do we get them to, to either stay here or to come back here and tell other people about the opportunities here. So uh, we have a lot of, uh, our committee has uh, a lot of work to do and we'll be working uh, with the input that you provide with us today too. And, and um, one of the, also the action items is to continue to strengthen our partnership through HUP with the Hennepin University Partnership. And that's a, um, uh, an important thing for, for the county to continue to do. Uh, one of the things that David mentioned is the hard to fill positions and I think it, um, I work in staffing. Uh, we work, staffing specialists work with a lot of you to fill your positions. Uh, we are fortunate to still have a number of applicants for a number of positions, but we, as many of you know, struggle to find, maybe not the numbers of people, but to find the right people. And wouldn't that be wonderful if we had identified some of them earlier on in the, in the process so that we could be growing them into the organization instead of um, trying to recruit them cold. So we're looking for those, some of those uh, people who are engaged already in working for Hennepin County or working for a similar organization or that line of business. We also have some hard to fill positions that that trade is dying. So we do need to create programs where we are training people here and, and we can do that through scope uh, where we actually can send people to school if that's something. But we've got thing, uh, boiler maker licenses that the, we're, people aren't going back to school for these things in droves and we're all of us are competing uh, for, uh, for those individuals and others. So, um, and one, for a long time, uh, basically the philosophy for doing internships was it was good for the students, right? And sometimes it feels the need, it got a project done. But what David is saying, what we're saying, is this is becoming a critical business need. It's not just a nice to do. It is something that we're going to need to look at um, because it's critical to building our organization and building the pipeline. So it's uh, become much more of a business need than, oh, is it kind of fun? Great. They have interns. So. And paid or unpaid, I'm, I'm in favor of both. So, um, I'm going to turn it over now to Kathy, and uh, we're going to move forward. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.